Hey guys, Adam with Grey Ghost Tactical, and uh, today I've got a, a pretty cool knife. Uh, I've liked OTFs for a while now, and uh, I found this at the local gun show up in um, at Eastman's Gun Show. Uh, I got this for forty bucks. It, I know it's not a Microtech or you know any one of those, but um, you know. It's a really strong action. Push button slide or slide button up on the top. Um, pretty nice construction. It's got those, you know, those screws in it so you can take it apart, clean it, and do what you need to. Uh, the grip is a. It's like a metal, but it's got like a maybe like a Teflon or rubberized coating on it. Um, the blade is, uh, you know regular blade these come in tanto they come in uh serrated non-serrated dagger um you know pretty much any combination you want the handles they come in blue and brown or coyote excuse me the olive color uh black red american flag so tons of items uh, it's got a little palm on there nice little pocket clip uh holds it really deep it's called wolf tech knives and uh supposedly these are made in the united states and supposedly the blade is a 440 uh 440c uh, but like i said 40 bucks um i got it at the gun show uh there's a company in augusta that sells these and um they were like i said at the local gun show overall it's a nice looking knife fits good in the hand um the action is really good. Um, and it actually came sharp enough to uh, shave hair out of the box. Um, that's what I do with most of my knives. I, I test them on my arm, and if they can cut hair, then they're good enough for me. Uh, how long it'll hold an edge? Probably not that long. It's probably a pretty soft steel. But that's okay. It's fairly easy to sharpen. But, um so up and down there's no blade play side to side just a little bit but you're going to get that on any out the front knife because of just because it's got to slide along that track on the inside there to push out um overall though i think for 40 bucks it's a really nice knife and uh um you know i would buy this again um it's got a three inch blade right at it and um like I said, I always like these knives. Uh, I can tell, though, that I'm going to have a problem wearing this in my scrubs. Uh, I'm going to have to constantly keep, like, re my pants. This is a, it's a pretty heavy knife. And uh, I would estimate, I need to get me a little pocket scale, but I would estimate this thing at half a pound, maybe, 12 ounces. Um... It's a, like I said, it's a heavy knife. The handles are some type of, I, I would assume aluminum. They could be steel, but they've got a coating on them. And, uh, but feels really good in hand. Uh, I've used it a couple times to uh, cut some boxes and uh, um, open some letters and stuff like that. And it worked fine. Um, it seems really well built. So, uh, and I'm sure the Wolf Tech is kind of like the Cobra Tech and the Viper Tech and all of them. I'm sure they're all manufactured in the same plant. But I could be wrong. And uh, so if anybody knows about Wolf Tech um, better than I do, um, you know, let me know in the comments. But so far, this appears to be a good knife. Now, I've only had it had it four days now. So... Uh, like I said, if if anybody has more experience with Wolf Tech, um, you know, let me know, and I will. Like I said, I will definitely will definitely look at more of their products to review. The coating seems pretty durable. I I actually did drop this. Um, I don't know if you can tell it right there. I dropped it on the on the handle there, and uh, so the actual coating on the the knife 
the button didn't hold up too well but the the knife actually held up pretty decent there's not a um maybe one little neat well nope that was coffee never mind um but yeah the coating on the knife actually held up pretty well and uh again i've got extra large hands as you can tell it fits my hand i could use this as an impact weapon if i wanted to um not really sure i would like to though because the that puts my puts my palm on the under end of the blade and it puts my if i was to use a hammer grip puts my hand on top of the blade so i'm not sure i would like to do that but anyway uh like i said great knife uh 40 bucks just goes to show you that you don't have to uh you know spend two three hundred bucks on a micro tech for an out out the front knife um i know i'm probably gonna make some people mad and they're gonna tell me this is chinese junk but okay i could buy 10 of these compared to one micro tech uh anyway not not hating on micro tech just saying i think they're a little overpriced uh anyway this is a great ghost technical signing out.